We're on the trail of thieves using legitimate websites to cheat Americans desperately searching for jobs in an ailing economy. The scam? Pretend you're a real company, advertise jobs online, then send the new hires big checks and give them a reason to send some of the money back by Western Union. What the victims don't know is they are actually transferring their own money to the thieves because those checks they've deposited into their accounts may look real, but they're really fakes. And when those counterfeit checks bounce, innocent people like Carol Browning, who thought she just landed a real job, are left holding the bag for thousands of dollars. It just turned my life upside down. So who are the crooks? And how do they wind up with the cash? Um, thanks for the opportunity to work for your business. I'm looking with the help of volunteers, Dateline starts applying for fake work-at-home jobs. We go to well-known websites all across the country, including MySpace Jobs, Simply Hired, and Job Planet. And we discover the scammers placing fake ads, stealing the names of real companies to look legitimate, pretending to be companies like Genentech, a cutting-edge biotech firm, Staples, the office supply powerhouse, even Goldman Sachs, the Wall Street giant. Sounds very prestigious. Before long, we're hired by some of the fake companies. <laughs> and the scammers start sending us money orders and checks. If you've recently received but phone calls to the real companies confirm the checks are counterfeit. The check is fraudulent and will not be able to clear our bank. So where are the counterfeits coming from? Dateline discovered the scammers actually recruit innocent people like Debbie Perry to do their dirty work by hiring them as so-called payroll clerks. The jobs may sound legit, but they're really part of the scam. This is the reason you called me, this check. Debbie is a single mom from Ohio, and she has an incredible story about how crooks tricked her into writing and sending some of the counterfeit checks. It began when she met a man online. He called himself Jackson Rowland and sent her this picture. And before long, he offered her a part-time job. He says, I have a job offer, and it's doing payroll for my company. And he says, oh, I don't know anything about payroll. I've never done that before. He said, well, it's easy. The first step, go to the local office supply store and buy a popular business check writing program called VersaCheck. And then you get a VersaCheck printer and VersaCheck paper. He knew their price to the penny. So you got the feeling he had done this before. You know, I thought, well, he's legit. Debbie already had a regular job, but this was a chance to earn extra money in her spare time to put her son through college. So every week, her online boss would send her a payroll list with the names of people who were supposed to get what she thought were legitimate checks. Now I'm going to enter the routing number. So let me get this straight. He would give you the routing numbers and the account numbers? The routing number, the account number, the bank name. And what about the signature? He emailed it to me. Debbie showed us how the check writing program lets you take a copy of a signature and insert it right on the check. You attach that to the check program and it comes out like that. And when you'd print these checks, did they look real? Yes, they do. I have one in your name. Would you like to see it? I would. In my name? Yes, I printed one for you. <laughs> Chris Hansen, $5,000. These look really real. They look like a real check, and they even have the watermark on them. That's amazing. And, and in the beginning, you thought this was legitimate. Oh, yeah, I thought it was legitimate because he had the signature and everything. So Debbie began sending the checks out by FedEx and UPS all across the country, not knowing they were headed to people who were targets of the scam. How many checks do you figure you sent? Probably about five or six hundred. Five or six hundred? Mm-hmm. Did you keep those receipts? I have them all. Can I see? Mm-hmm. Right here. Oh. This is how many I sent. Wow. That's nothing. Wow. <laughs> and how long did this go on? That went on for a couple months before I realized what was going on. Looking back, Debbie says she feels guilty she didn't figure it out earlier. But she finally got suspicious and quit. But not before the scammer, who calls himself Jackson Rowland, had tricked her into sending out the same sort of counterfeit checks that fooled Carol Browning and thousands of other people looking for jobs. And where is the scammer? Dateline showed Debbie how to trace his emails. In Nigeria. I'm going to talk to your daughter. I'm going to take your money to stop me. 
Nigeria, a place where scams are so common, there's even a music video mocking gullible Americans. Turns out, thieves from Nigeria, likely operating out of an internet cafe like this one, had turned Debbie Perry into an unwitting puppet. We don't know how many people fell for the scam, but in all, Debbie sent out more than three quarters of a million dollars in counterfeit checks. And she's not alone. How many other Debbies do you think are out there? Hundreds. In every state, I think he has a handful. That is a, a typical scenario. The nation's top cyber cop, Sean Henry, at the FBI, says the troubled economy makes it that much easier for thieves to trick people desperate for work. It sounds like these overseas scammers have to have, obviously, these puppets here in the United States to carry out their, their schemes. And that's where innocent people can be victimized, where they believe that they're moving money for a legitimate company, and in fact, they're an unknowing part of a conspiracy. The scammer, Jackson Rowland, does most of his talking online. Debbie also has a phone number for him. We're about to see what a thief, likely using somebody else's photo and hiding somewhere in Nigeria, has to say for himself. This is Debbie. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, Jackson. Uh, Jackson, my name is Chris Hansen. I'm an investigative reporter here in the United States. I want you to explain yourself to me. It, it appears that you're involved in a check scam online. No. Jackson? Did you hung up? The question, can Dateline beat the scammers at their own game? Can we follow the money and stop it before it gets into the thieves' hands? Coming up, how much money do you owe to the bank? I personally owe probably around 1900 He's a victim, but all is not lost. Dateline targets the thieves who targeted him. And promises, promises continued.